a clash that has been happening for many years. And the first case filed in 1996, Zitrongse and Dezepe villages of Jomukitima district had a very huge dispute and clash on Saturday. Today, Monday, they had a meeting here at the DC office, Chumukadima, with the Deputy Commissioner Abhinav Shivam and all the presidents of the units and hohos, uh, an organization, as well as the councils of both the villages. Uh, speaking to media persons, a representative of uh, Dizepe village, who is also the former village council chairman, said that they will go according to the court order and whatever they have uh, ordered. But uh, later on, during the, uh, after the meeting, the Deputy Commissioner of Chumukadima spoke to media persons where he informed that the status quo has to be maintained according to the Supreme Court, which is, which is their order since many, many years. And uh, two aspects of the dispute were discussed, which was who does the land belong to and also the law and order situation. He assured that everyone is ready in case of any untoward incident, but he also mentioned that all tribal hohos have assured that no incident should occur or escalate. Let's have a look at today's report. Hello, <laughs> 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 So can you tell us a little bit about the meeting that was held today with the two villages that are uh, under a clash of sorts, uh, that is Dizepe and and it was especially unfortunate because uh, there are many people who were interpreting the orders of High Court and Supreme Court in their own way. In today's meeting, we realized that people were having their own perception about what, Supreme, what Honorable Supreme Court has said. And based on that, based on this misinformation, uh, the passions were rising high. And uh, what led to the clash on Saturday was highly unfortunate. Uh, the entire incident and the history of it could be divided into two, into two larger points what happened on Saturday. One is the dispute that who, to whom the, does this land belong to and the second is the law and order part. So we address both of them today in the meeting. Uh, what was the conclusion in the end? Were, were there any um, feelings that were of animosity with each other that you noticed? Uh, well, when the meeting started, uh, the acrimony was palpable. But uh, the sense that we had by the end of the meeting that uh, I think some, some reason and some sense has prevailed in people. Uh, because also we clarified on what the legal position of the matter is, what was the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court, what was mentioned in the High Court. So that information asymmetry we could address and we also appealed to the good sense of both the villagers and the tribal hoho leaders were also present. We appealed to the good sense of uh, the citizens, the village council chairman and the Gamburas. And I believe they listened to us. I believe they got the sense of it. And the time when the meeting was over, uh, I think the environment was quite different from where we started. Mm -hmm. So how big is the dispute area? It is about two puras. Sir, uh, we heard that, you know, uh, that day itself also there were some blank fires and that night also there mm -hmm. were some blank fires. So any actions were taken, sir? Well, I've asked the police to look into the matter. Uh, in fact, ADCP reported that uh, there were some uh, talks and mentions about the firing. Uh, I have asked the ADCP and DCP to look into the matter. If uh, some firing has happened, it is a very serious issue for us and 
adequate measures will be taken against it. Uh, so, if in case of any eventuality, is the district uh, ready for any eventual eventuality of law and order situation? Yes, of course we are, mm -hmm. and that is the point which we have discussed with the police also. Mm -hmm. uh, however, the tribal hohos have assured us, and they, that uh, nothing of that sort will happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the meeting, especially in fact, uh, just before uh, this interview, they were here. And they have assured us that uh, nothing untowards will happen uh, because the information asymmetry which is there is addressed to quite a bit. Nevertheless, uh, we have given instructions to police also. Uh, police is also ready, as I'm reported. And uh, I don't think any untoward incident will happen. Okay. So, what would be the follow up to today's meeting? The follow-up of today's meeting will be one, the tribal hoes will uh, sit with their villages and with their own tribe people and then the two villages will be brought uh, on a discussion. See, the point is this matter goes back quite long. In the first case was probably uh, filed in 1996. Uh, so the dispute is from 90s. Uh, and the technicality of the matter is that the matter is still under sub judice. So it is in 2009 when Honorable Supreme Court has given the direction. They have set aside the ruling of the High Court and uh, they had uh, told the High Court to take the matter afresh, educate on it and where the villagers can go and present their claim. So the technicality of the matter is, it is subjudiced. So is there any way to settle it out of court? So there are only two ways. One way is that the two party, both of the parties go to high court and they get a judgment out of it. The second is that these two villages realize that they can select their friends but not their neighbors, that they should come together, they should learn how to coexist, they should know that if there is any grievance, there is a way, there is a mechanism to put forward. Uh, going for vandalism is not a way, it is not a civilized way in any which manner. And uh, I will repeat what I have told in the meeting also. See, Chumakadima, like it is said, is the land of opportunity. And the development of Nagaland will be dependent upon Chumukidima's prosperity as well. Chumukidima will be the growth engine for Nagaland. And for that to happen, the first thing is that peace should prevail. Now, for peace to prevail, we need to develop our mechanism how to resolve the conflict. I mean, forget about multi, uh, multiple tribes which are here. Even with the, in the same community, it, it will never happen that for all the times there is uh, no dispute, no disharmony. But we should learn how to resolve our disputes. There will be difference of opinion. And the difference of opinion should be, uh, should be addressed and should be solved in a civilized manner. The discussion should not end. People should not go and start vandalizing the shops or whatsoever. So that is absolutely not the way, way forward. Not, not only for Chumogidema, for any place. This wo the violence leads nowhere. The violence leads to more violence and even after it is settled, it leaves to, leads to acrimony, it leads a bad taste in the mouth. So that is what I had appealed today also. And that is what, that is something we should learn. That how to resolve our differences. Violence is not the way. Uh, apart from the assurances from the respective tribal mm -hmm. organization, was there any tariff issued to the both parties at the meeting by the district administration? Yes, the both both parties were asked to maintain the status quo because that is the direction of Honorable Supreme Court also. The Supreme Court has said to maintain the status quo and that, that is what uh, EAC Chumokidima had been telling them. That is what district administration had been telling them from uh, from earlier. In fact, there is an entire history of it since, I mean, talk, 
discuss about 2016, 2020. Um, since the matter is subjudice for long, so we have told them to maintain the status quo.